Hey guys, welcome back to Learning D3. In the last video, we added some scales to our chart so that we can add data and give it a dynamic functionality. Now what I want to do is just implement a little bit of um, transitions or animation for when the, sh the chart comes into view and also a tool tip when we hover over each bar to get that data for that particular bar. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is create a variable called tooltip and we're going to select the body of the document and then we're going to just append a div Oops. all right and we're just going to set uh, a bunch of styles on this all right so we're going to say style and actually let me just copy this Okay, first thing we're gonna to wanna to do here is set the position to absolute. Okay, because we want each tooltip to be directly over the bar. All right, and let's see, next we're going to, let's add a background. And let's see, we'll just make that, um, uh, let's see, we'll just make that light gray. And next thing is going to be some padding. And I'm going to set that to 5 and 15. Uh, actually, we need to put in pixels. Okay, so let's also give it a border. Uh, for the border, we'll do one pixel and we'll do dark gray solid. Next thing is going to be the uh, border radius. And I'm just going to set that to 5 pixels. And then the opacity, I'm going to set that to 0 to start with because we don't want it in view when the page loads. Okay, We only want it to come in when we hover over it. Now, to get that functionality, we need to create some events. All right, so. Uh, we're going to go down and we're just going to add on to this right here and let's say dot on and then the event this is going to be mouse over okay so you can just simply add on events like this with the on method alright so when we hover this we're going to want to uh, say tooltip dot transition and we want to style and all we want to do is bring it into view so we're going to say opacity one all right next let's do the HTML all right so we'll say dot HTML and all we're going to do here is pass in the data actually you know what let's let's do this tooltip.html data and then let's do dot style and we want to set the left position to uh, what we want to do here is get the page x value so we're going to use d3 dot event dot page x and then we just want to add on px pixels all right so this is going to take care of the the x-axis positioning now for the y-axis we'll say style top and we'll set this one actually you know what this needs parentheses here and here All right, and then for this one, uh, let's see, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna say d3 dot event dot page y, and also add the px. Okay, so that'll take care of the positioning and the, the content. Um, 
Now, when we hover over a certain bar, I want it to just fade out a little bit, just so we know which one we're over. So let's add to this. I'm just going to put uh, d 3 select, and we want to pass in this, and we'll set dot style. We're going to set opacity, and we'll set that to let's see, 0 0.5. All right. So let's go ahead and save that and see what we get. Um, all right, so we're getting D is not defined. And the reason for that is we need to pass in D right here. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so you can see the bar is fading and we also get the data point. Now, you'll notice that it, it stays faded and we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is add a, a mouse out event. So we'll say dot on mouse out function and same thing we get a pass in D and let's say tooltip dot transition and now what we want to do is set the opacity back to zero and let's see we're also going to want to uh, let's say d3 dot select this and we want to set this opacity back to one. Okay, so this style is for the tooltip and this is for the actual bar. All right, so let's save that, reload. And there we go, you can see it just changes when you mouse out. All right, so that's working great. So now what I want to do is when we actually load the chart, I want to give it a, a cool little animation. And that's really easy to do. Let's just go down to the bottom here. And we're going to say my chart dot transition. Oops. Did I spell that right? Transition, yeah. Okay, so let's give it an attribute of height and we'll set that to function pass in the D and we're going to return the Y scale wrapped around the D and let's say dot adder and this will be for the um, let's see this will be the Y attribute and <clears throat> excuse me we have function and pass in the D and then we're going to return the height uh, and then we're going to take away the Y scale wrapped around the D okay now, uh, you see how we have my chart dot transition. We actually have to put this whole thing into a variable called my chart. All right, and then we're going to have to change some of this. Um, so we're going to set the height attribute since we're doing that down there. We're going to set this to zero. And then the Y, we're just going to set that to height. To the height variable like that and let's see x will stay the same all right let's let's try that all right so you see how we get that little animation now we can slow it down because right now it's really fast so let's go down here and actually you know what let's create a variable here and we'll say var uh, we'll say animate 
duration. And we'll set that to 700. And then we can also have a delay. So we'll say animate delay. And we'll set that to 30. And then down here, say duration. It's going to be animate duration. And then dot delay is going to take a function. And for this, what we want to do is return i multiplied by animate delay. All right. And then finally, we can give it a little kind of effect. And we can do that with ease and let's say we want elastic. Okay, that'll give it a nice little uh, effect. All right, so see how it comes in, kind of bounces. All right, so we're getting there. We have our tooltip, we have a little effect. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we can create axes. Okay, so we can have our, uh, our ticks over here and on the bottom. All right, so we, we can see these values over here and we'll have some measurement. All right, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like the videos. Leave a like, uh, leave a comment, whatever you can do. All right, so I will see you in the next part.